Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and welcome to my Lego city. It is currently nowhere near done, but I've had so much fun working on it. So anyways, what I'm gonna be doing in this video is adding a brand new modular to my Lego city. This is the detective's office down there. We didn't buy it new in box. We did get it used. And so we had to clean it, make sure it was all dusted. And then of course, convert it to the mill system because that's a system we've chosen to go with in our Lego city. And I've been loving it so far. It's a lot more expensive, a lot more work and very tedious, but I really do think it'll be worth it in the end. And so in this video, I'm gonna start with a Lego City tour and just show you the current layout and then show you this modular up close, show you all the insides of it and just, you know, show you how cool it is because it's a lot better than I thought it would be. And then finally, I'll be adding this to my Lego City. So if you're brand new to this channel and you enjoy Lego City content like at all, which I assume most of you guys probably do if you clicked on this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate it. Plus, I'll be putting out a ton of Lego City content coming soon and you don't want to miss it. It's going to be fantastic. So the modulars along the front of our Lego City are the diner, a assembly square and the brick bank. And something to note about our Lego city is that we are severely lacking corner modulars. Really all we have right now is the brick bank and the corner garage. And they're both amazing. I love both of those so much, but we just need more corner modulars. So I think that's kind of next on our list on what sets we need to get for the city. And I'm really, really hoping that the 2022 modular is a corner piece. But then moving along the back of the first city block, we have the end of the corner garage over there, the police station and the bookshop and I just love how the bookshop looks next to the police station just adding that pop of color is amazing and whatever we do get for the 2022 modular I hope that we get some more colorful modulars because I love that blue color in the bookshop I just think it's beautiful and then for the second city block we have part of the pet store really just to make it work with the road plates there since we do have two halves next to each other and that other half is Avengers Tower and we place that next to the Daily Bugle because the Daily Bugle and Avengers Tower I just feel like they go together. But something to note about Avengers Tower is that we actually elevated it because it was just way too small next to the Daily Bugle. And so adding Avengers Tower next to it just didn't really seem right. Avengers Tower was just way too small. And also I do want to bring it forward a bit just to make it a bit more even with the other modulars in the Daily Bugle because it's kind of hidden in the back there. But then on the other side of the Daily Bugle, we have the Parisian restaurant. Now something to note about our Lego City is that the Daily Bugle is right across from the police station station modular and yes that was on purpose I just feel like those go hand in hand and having these two real centerpieces to the Lego city across from each other just made sense to me and then for those of you who haven't seen the last city update yet here's our road plates and I love the system that we chose for this also we have a nice little parking spot here for a car to park and I just feel like that's something that any big downtown area has you know like there's always street parking it just seems like a very realistic thing to add to our Lego city but also there's enough room to add a car next to it driving by so that was important as well also you've probably noticed these road base plates these will not be staying in our lego city these are kind of just for reference for now because the roads will loop around connect up here with this road plate and then continue around to the back of the second city block but we just need to make a lot more of these and we need to make a brick link order in order to make that happen one of the biggest problems we've had with the lego city is just running out of pieces so we have this one more road plate here but we don't have enough to make another one and as you can see we did start on another road plate but we just don't have enough pieces to do the sidewalks as well as this white stripe down the sides which I just love I just feel like that looks so realistic and also just really cool but anyways that is definitely gonna be a work in progress long term because we need to make another BrickLink order. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but we have the second half of the pet store over here. So it's ready to be added to the city at some point, but we just haven't yet because it's just very even here. It would be weird to have like a half modular over here, for example. So we've just kind of left it to the side for now. All right, so here we have the detective's office modular. And I'll be honest, this was not that high up on my list of most wanted modular sets. However, now that I have it, I really do like it, especially the color on the right-hand side for the barbershop and the apartment on the second and third stories, but then also all of this masonry brick in the detective's office, plus the pool sign. There's a lot of really amazing details here that we're going to take a look at. So let's start along the first story of the building and then make our way up. So over here we have the Highlander and that's the pool hall. As you can see from the sign up there that says pool, there's a really nice pool table inside that I'll show you guys in a sec, but let's take a look at the exterior first. And then over here we have Al's barber shop and I love those details inside little minifig heads with the hair 
pieces on top, as well as just the classic red, white, and blue in front of the barbershop and the scissors accessory. It's just perfect. And currently in our Lego city from the modulars, I don't think we have an alley yet. So that's kind of nice, this little hallway in here. I put Scooby there just because I thought it was kind of funny. But anyways, let's take a look inside the modular now. So here inside the pool hall, I just love all the little accessories and details. It is very cram packed. On top there, you see that fan and it actually does move, which is kind of cool. And then right below that is of course the pool table. And then over on the other side, we do get to see the barbershop and there's not too many details hidden inside there, but it definitely looks like a barbershop from the outside. And so now let's move up and take a look at the second story. This is actually where we see the detective's office and there's so many details cram packed into there. I just absolutely love it. It looks like a detective's office. There's so many fun little crime accessories such as the hat on the hook on the wall there. And then we have some newspaper articles on the desk with a map. And then right behind it, we have a wanted poster and it's really just describing any minifigure ever made that's wearing a hat. So it's just kind of funny. Looking at the other side though, it's quite boring. We have a bathroom, some stairs and a plant. Looking at the third story now, we're only looking at this side of the building because the pool hall only extends up by two stories. There's really not too much to see in here. There's a cat, there's some cookies, but it's really just a pretty basic apartment. But anyways, now I think it's time to add the detective's office to the Lego city. So let me get this road plate hooked in. And as I said before, I love the colors here. Like this light blue color is beautiful and I want that facing the front. So I think I'm gonna place it either next to the pet store or replace the pet store with it and move the pet store somewhere else. Let's see what looks the best. So here's the first place I decided to put the detective's office and I'm kind of second guessing it now because I see owls next to pets and I don't like how that looks. I don't know, like I feel like those need to be separated just a bit more. So let's try a few more things. Okay, so I like this a lot better. Owls and pets are a lot more separated. Also having a blue building on either side of the pool hall is kind of nice. Also Avengers Tower up there. So there's a bunch of color right in this area and I am just loving that. I really think this is a good spot for the detective's office, but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think or if you think there's a better spot for it. I will definitely be moving things around going forward because that's just kind of how a Lego city works. But anyways, I really do like where this is located right now. So as for the rest of the city and what I'm planning to do I'm gonna have a forest here and I think what I'm gonna do is have it be like a normal campground like normal forest turning into mystical forest with dragons and elves and just something really mystical and fun leading into my amusement park so as you can see here I have the roller coaster the brand new ferris wheel that is absolutely adorable I think I might like this better than the creator expert one I am sorry if I just offended anybody but I just love that I think it's so cute and then the carousel, the Disney castle. I also want to have a little Scooby area over here and then maybe like a Lego Super Mario world here. And as you can see, this is just a giant mess as of now. This is where I've placed a lot of the sets that I haven't yet added to the Lego city or accessories. Like a lot of the Mickey and Friends 4 Plus stuff is up here. Some of the facade sets, but anyways, those will be added to the city eventually. They're just kind of up here for now. And then as for the train track in my Lego city, I'm gonna have two different stops for it. One will be right up here. So I'm hoping to get to Hogwarts Express and have that be one of the stations up here. And then it'll loop around all the way past the Disney castle, kind of loop up here. And then here is the Disney train station. And again, this is a total mess, but it will be cleaned up eventually. But this will be the second station so people can go to the amusement park and then head back home when they're done. And I think that's really important. All right, well, I really hope that you all enjoyed the latest city update in my Lego City. I have had so much fun working on it this week. There's a lot to keep doing, obviously, like there's so much room to work with here, which is really exciting, but we just need to make a few Bricklink orders in the meantime. But I think the next big thing going on in the city will be the roads. That's probably my next biggest priority because without the roads, it just looks like sets on a table. I think the roads really solidify it. But anyways, if you guys have any ideas or feedback for me in the LEGO City, please let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and you've had some amazing ideas in the past so keep them coming I really do appreciate it again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider doing so and don't forget to leave a like on the video thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one